I'm only going to say this once. You need to stop caring what people think of you. Because if you don't, you will never be set free. And in reality, if that happens, your life is going to be pretty rubbish. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can stop caring about what people think of you because your life may depend on it. If you don't know who I am already, my name is Michael Tavaradi, high performance coach and mentor, and I help self-starters and ambitious professional millennials increase their productivity, enhance their performance, realize their priorities, and live their life on purpose. Now, if this is the first time you've come to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, all the links are in the description below. Now let's get into the video. Now, many of us are in situations where we may see something online and we may feel a bit inadequate or not worthy enough, or we wanna try something and we're like, we're not there yet. Now I've helped many different people overcome some of these self-limiting beliefs. And I've realized that the very thing that we're trying to achieve is the thing that we're also avoiding. That's a deep and profound thing because if you realize what I'm saying, what we're avoiding is where our success lies. And this is why I'm so passionately gonna be talking about how you can stop caring what people think in order for you to succeed and achieve what it is that you want to achieve. Now let's get stuck in. Now, why do we act like this? Well, it's quite simple. A lot of us want to connect on a human level. A lot of us want a level of acceptance and validation. And we seek that acceptance and validation through the eyes of other individuals, through likes, through comments, through shares, primarily taken over by social media. Sometimes that's through what people say. Sometimes that's through the fact that we don't get enough phone calls. And so if we don't get a certain level of acceptance or love, then we feel like we're inadequate. We feel like we're not worthy enough to do what we want to do, what we truly want to do. And so we start acting up. We begin to do things that compromise our values. Now, if you don't understand what your values are, then you're in a serious situation because there's no level of self-awareness and you're practically blind. If you're trying to get to a destination and it's pitch black, how the hell are you gonna get there? You may end up sitting there or trying to work out where to get to. You may hit your leg on, on a piece of rock or bash into a tree or whatever it may be. But imagine if you had a floodlight that was guiding your path. That's what self-awareness can do for you. And so many of us begin to compromise our values. We need to be clear of what that looks like. Because if we're not, then we start doing silly things. When we compromise our values for others, this is known as conformity. We start living in the expectations of what we think other people expect of us because we don't accept ourselves. And so we need to get to a point of understanding that actually this is not the way it works. It's not about living up to other people's expectations. It's about living to your own. That's what I mean by values. Because at the end of the day, if you're living up to other people's expectations, that's not living. That's not a real life. You need to do things on your own terms. Many of us have been in situations where our experiences, where our mother, our father, our siblings, our teachers, our external family members, our friends have put us down. And so that has conditioned us to think a certain way, which removes us from the point of understanding who we are as individuals. You need to get back to that divine right because once you get back to identifying that, you're a different breed. You're uncommon. You're an uncommon breed. That's the plan at the end of the day. You need to be uncommon. And the way you become uncommon is by being true to oneself, is by being authentically yourself, is about being brutally honest to yourself, holding yourself to account and saying, how honest to myself was I today? How brutally authentic was I to myself today? That commitment, that commitment to a cause is so fundamental. That's the point of life. Living life on your terms. I think it was Les Brown who once said, he who cares less wins, or she who cares less wins. Now, before I even get into explaining what that specifically means, you have to be brave enough to walk your own path. You have to be brave enough to walk a lonely path because it's going to start lonely. You have to navigate things for yourself. You need to make sure everything is quiet and still so you can really listen. Hear what I said, so that you can really listen. You need to sit down and be still 
so you can really see. Because if you can't really listen for yourself and see for yourself, you're never going to think for yourself and you're never going to feel for yourself. What does that mean? You start to make poor decisions. And when you make poor decisions, you have a poor quality of life. That's the reality. So this is life threatening. The fact that you haven't been committing to your cause, the fact that you've been listening to other people, the fact that you haven't been able to step out of your reach is life threatening. And so you need to come to terms with accepting self and being brutally honest with your situation, with who you are currently right now. And that will tell you where you need to go going forward. Now, coming back to what I said about Les Brown, what I meant by that is your emotions heavily influence the way you respond and act. Now, it doesn't mean you don't necessarily care for the well-being of others. What this means is you have a certain level of objectivity. I spoke about this in my previous video where I spoke about the psychological muscle, where subjectivity would say, we live this experience, we take it for granted, we don't really understand what's happening, but we're not trying to understand, we're just experiencing. When you step outside of that and you look outside in, you're a bit more objective. If you have a goal and a purpose in mind, if you're clear of your values, if you understand who you are as an individual, I'm sorry, nobody can budge you. You need to be uncompromising. And the way you do that is by making sure that you are clear of your goals and your sense of purpose. You are clear of your sense of values. You have the right people around you to mold your environment. And you proactively make sure that you reflect and review and implement what it is that you're aiming to do as a person. It's not just about who you want to be, it's about who you're becoming. That has to stay in your mind. You have to always think to yourself, who am I becoming? Based on my actions, who am I becoming? Who do people think I am? Who do people say I am? That's the difference. All I can say to you is if you take yourself seriously, then you'll protect your time and energy like money. You will invest it, you will save it and spend it on what it needs to be spent on. This is why it's so important to have goals. This is why it's so important to have a sense of values, principles and purpose. Because without those things, you are nothing. I'm telling you this right now, without a sense of values, you will crumble. You're not going to be resilient. And so the first step is self-awareness. The next step is building the structures around what you're trying to do. The first step is staying consistent. Doing the thing you said you were gonna do long after the feeling is gone, you have to have reminders to tell you that. The next thing is to make sure that your environment is conducive to what you're trying to do. Stop looking at the Instagram, stop looking at the TikTok, stop looking at whatever it is that is making you feel this way. Sometimes it's just looking at what other people are doing. Block that stuff out because if you can block that out and stay channeled and focused, you're gonna do what you need to do and you're gonna stop whining. But if you're consistently allowing these things to affect you, you're the beholder of your truth. You're the beholder of your reality. And so with that in mind, this is meant to remind you that you are in control. Nobody else. You are in control. Accept reality for what it is and understand what you need to do in order to come out of the situation. Some may even argue that accepting a reality is not enough. Maybe you need to get rid of that reality and redefine and re-engineer it but it starts with knowing who you are. Be brutally honest to yourself because if you're not, that other brother or sister's not gonna be brutally honest to you. You can't rely on other people. We need people and don't need people at the same time, but I come with a mentality that I'm gonna do this on my own, by hell or by fire, I'm gonna do it because once I embody that, I know the right people will be drawn to me. This is why you have to have the right and appropriate people in your circle. Your circle can't be huge. You can have networks, acquaintances, whatever, but there are going to be a small amount of people that you may rely on in order for them to give you a honest feedback, a really brutal and objective sense of reality. Really important. So in order for you to stop caring about what other people think, step back in, recognize self and realize, have I been living by my values day by day and that will help you answer the question. I hope this video gave you the right level of invigoration and energy and inspiration to practically move forward and make some changes. You can check out some of my previous videos where I talk about this stuff 
in a very methodical and practical way. But here, I want you to understand the dynamics of how you can stop caring about what other people think. Because nine times out of 10, even 10 times out of 10, as Les Brown would say, it's none of your spiritual business. <laughs> it's none of your business what people think of you. That's their business. You need to think what you need to think. You don't even know what they think. So stop whining, stop being a victim, get out of this mindset and start focusing on how you can redefine and reshape what it is or who you're aiming to be. If you wanna see more videos like this or if you need coaching, if you need coaching to get out of this self-limiting mindset, then click on the link below for a breakthrough session to see how I can help you overcome many of these different hurdles. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, understand, reach and expand. Peace.